Hey guys, I'm Adrian and that's Winnie and we're Gluck's Gym. And welcome to our exclusive gym tour. Exclusive in what way? <laughs> to YouTube. <laughs> Real exclusive. So over the past three years, we've converted this from an empty garage to a 750-ish square foot home gym. Hey, don't undersell us. That includes the insulation, the wood paneling you see, sheetrock, lights, the HVAC unit, all of it. So let's start this thing off with my rack and I have a Rogue Monster RM5 two feet in the front, three feet in the back. But the first thing I'm gonna say in this video is we are gonna miss a ton of stuff. There is just too much in this gym. So I'm just gonna highlight, or we're gonna highlight our favorites as we go. Yeah, and if you ever get confused over what belongs to who, just know if it's bland and colorless, it's Adrian. <laughs> That's true. This is a beautiful gray. And I have some things with clear grind. These are my roller <laughs> Jacobs. That's also gray. But... This is, is gunmetal-ish. Yeah. <laughs> so those are from Irwin Fitness. These are fantastic. The best roller cups in my opinion. But I also use these bridge belt combo rollers. These things are sick. They're huge fat uh, sandwich J cups with a roller there. So when I bench, I can roll the bar into position and then flick it forward. But as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, highlighting the favorites, we have lots of bars. So my rack's over here and Winnie kind of lifts on the other side because our sides and our, and our lifts are much different. She's much stronger than me. So like I'm over here. And taller. <laughs> and taller. So her personal favorites are there on her really cool 11 post rep rogue monster rack which we'll get to but over here i've got like my favorite bars and stuff my fully stainless steel ohio pyro bar it is normally i can get to it but we rearrange things but that's one i use that's a great bar i have my rep double black diamond this comes and goes depending on how i'm feeling on the day because we're a little spoiled and then my american barbell chewy bar because i am spoiled i bench press with that yeah, and my personal favorite bar of, of yours is this one, so I can constantly hit my head on it when I spot you. <laughs> and you'll see lots of ways to uniquely store things like our Rogue Gun Rack and our Darko Anchor. And of course, our other favorites like the Surplus Strength Leg Rollers. These are, in my opinion, the best leg rollers on the market. And then your pull-up oh, bar. Oh, yes. Uh, Adrian bought me this pull-up bar, which thank you, except not all of us are six foot tall men, so my grip actually comes in and I missed the knurling completely. So Rogue, why isn't this fully knurled? See, she meant to say six foot tall, buff, really huge men. Don't think too highly of yourself. Wow, watch <laughs> it. So one of our two Massonomics drink spotters, these hold drinks, basketballs, and whatever else my son puts in it. But we have a lot of things on this rack from Bells of Steel from their Manicore, which is directly compatible three by three true one inch rack. So their seal row pad, this thing's great. We also also had it on the Hydra. And then some of their safeties like these drop-in safeties because Rogue doesn't actually make this for a 30 inch rack. So we use those, but my wife's favorite part of the rack <laughs> is the Rogue safety. So why don't you take that away? Yeah, I feel bad only complaining, but these are actually horrible. Um, they're very difficult to move. So if you want to move them, you have to move them together. And geez Louise, like I was not kidding when I said the, That's not hard. a joke, that's how it really works. Yes. And then of course, oh, you know what? You're doing really well. Can you get me oh, one of yeah. those spotter arms? These are super pretty. She did it. So these are also from Surplus Strength. All these companies hate me because I make them clear grind things, but these are their stealth spotter arms and they take up no space on the rack. They're a little expensive, but they are phenomenal handmade in America. So I absolutely love those. Jeez. Uh, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, We'll keep the camera on her, not really. No, you gotta put it back further. Shut up. All right, just keep going, keep going. <laughs> hey guys, she's doing great. Look at her, she's still over there. Stop. <laughs> Almost got it. And then I have my Rogue Deep Dish, but we have lots of Deep Dish and vintage plates all over the place. We'll probably get to those more as we go because I'm a bit of a collector of them. But these are fantastic plates that we've had for, well, basically since they came out. Now onto our wall control. So this has a bunch of collars on it, um, some other junk, and then, oh my God, we also have these medals here. One of us got first and one of us got second. I got second out of two people. <laughs> <laughs> I got first out of. Uh, more than, a lot more than two people. <laughs> <laughs> so we have lots of collars in our belt fed belt, but a lot of this stuff is featured probably better on the other side of the gym. So maybe we just, completely skip cardio. We do like the Bells of Steel Blitz bike. Oh my God, don't hit your head on those rings. Oh my God, they're <laughs> stored up here as they should. Love gymnastic rings, but now we're in the corner. Starting with a piece of equipment we actually use that's in the corner. This is our 
Titan Squat Max. Did you look down to see the name? I did not. Stop <laughs> slander. <laughs> We're going to run that back. I'm going to zoom in on your face. <laughs> no. All right. Anyway, this is the Squat Max. We love it. Uh, there's some things that they could be doing better, but we have a whole review about this. So check that out. Mainly, she means the height. When you're about Winnie's height, it's they need to lower things or, or tweak things to get her height in. But if you're taller than 5'6", you should be good. Yeah, but it's great for leg presses because we don't have a leg press machine. Unless someone wants to send one. We actually have one on the way. Never mind. <laughs> Can you Tell, too? Yeah. What, now what's going on in this corner, honey? So I call it the corner because it's where I put the stuff that you don't see on camera in our reviews. Normally it looks a little messier in there. So Patreons will know how messy it normally oh, looks. Oh yeah. So this is our manicure rack. When we're done with our review, we have to disassemble things and kind of put them places. So this ends up being a hodgepodge of fun. Yeah, so this is actually super cleaned up. Where's all the stuff that's normally here? We did not spend a full day staging this video. <laughs> if we were to cut outside, there is a, a ludicrous amount of things outside. But people actually ask me all the time, they'll DM me or email and be like, what do you really think? I say what I think in my videos. I don't care about companies. We're here because of our viewers, which is like my self-righteous speech, I guess. Mm -hmm. But just because it's not in the gym, the stuff that's in here, it's clearly our favorite. But there's a lot of great equipment review that's... <clears throat> Maybe in the driveway. Yeah. And now we have some plates from Bells of Steel. We, somehow we have some 35s here. Don't know how that happened. We'll get rid of these. Yeah. Uh, we have your, your, your second favorite curl second bar. Second favorite curl bar. Rogue's curl bar is fantastic. We'll get to my favorite in a second because yeah. it's behind me. That's how well we know each other. I know his second favorite curl bar. <laughs> but these are the Bells of Steel urethanes. Good plates, but they... You know what? You, you're good at taking Jeez. this stuff off. All right. They're a little sharp. If you ever get your finger in here, and you will. Besides that, we have some great urethanes. We've done that bumper cut video. But uh, those are good plates. There are better on the market. Lots of calibrated plates when you want to look cool. What is this? That is... What? We're talking about the plates, honey. This is my good Christmas washcloth. What the hell is it doing out here? <laughs> I should have folded those better. But... Um, why is this out here? Uh, somebody else did it. Look at the preacher hat. I love this thing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and it's really great to work on your arms, uh -huh. right? And <laughs> let's move on to the dumbbells. Yeah. So why don't you take it away with the uh, dumbbells, honey? Uh huh. Sure. Why don't I? Uh, so we actually have two different type of dumbbells. We have Rep and Rogue. Uh, these ones have the ergonomic, ergonomic handle. handle so you want to pick those up? Go no, ahead. no, I'm okay. Um, so this one, the rep ones are fully knurled. As the Rogue, they have like the spots in between, as you see. Uh, I don't honestly use the Rogue ones because it's 75 and over. But I really like the rep ones and the fully knurled handle. I think you For the most part, them. held up. Yeah, I like the, the, the straight handles. They've, for the most part, held up well. You can see a little surface thrust on that. These are like three years old. We bought them at peak COVID. And so. our... Uh, climate control was not what it is now. No. So this, these have this, been through the ringer. This gym's been gone along. Yeah. And one of the other things we're thinking about switching out, this is the only part of the gym that hasn't changed. We're thinking of getting like a four tier dumbbell rack. We know Prime and Irwin Fitness and Rogue, and even Rep's got some options because they're going to have their storage shelves coming in. But if anybody has any ideas with those, we haven't quite selected one yet, but that's the next thing that's going to change in here. Yeah, we just need constant change. We're very high maintenance. <laughs> and of course, you, you want to get the gun oh, yeah. done? This absolutely unobtainable bar for me. Why is it put like that? So if you were tall enough, yeah. you could reach this pretty easily. And this is my favorite curl bar. I'd say we reviewed it, but we've reviewed all this stuff. Has the built-in collars. This thing is awesome. It's up there so I can get it and nobody <laughs> yeah. else. I do get it down when she wants it. But that is a great curl bar, awesome handles and, and, and angles and everything. I love everything about it. It's just very expensive, which is why we originally got the Rogue curl bar. Yeah. Which is also pretty expensive. And then the Kabuki Cadillac bar, this is the Rogue made version. Very well done bar. A little rattly because of the, the hollow sleeves, but uh, that's not really a complaint. It's balanced well, the angles are great, and it's a very good bar, but with our powerlifting training because of the meat, we haven't been able to use it lately. But let's not forget the most important part of any gym tour, the benches. Let's do it. And I know what you're thinking. How do they only have three benches here? And I'll remind you, you have no idea what's outside those doors. <laughs> but in all reality, these are very carefully curated three benches. So this is the best one, right? Just what point is it? blank. Tell me all the this names and the numbers. 4100. By? 
rep. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually by far my favorite bench. It's stable, but it's also super light to move around and it has this gorgeous blue color. My only uh, complaint is that we didn't get the purple one and that'll continue to be my complaint until that's fixed. Okay, now this one? Uh, this is the black wing. Nope. Made by? I'm covering this it on <laughs> purpose. I'm covering it on purpose. <laughs> He's cheating. This is the Rogue Manta Ray. Manta Ray. This is my favorite bench. It is very expensive, but it has the Thompson vinyl and pad on it. Not the fat pad, but same pad and vinyl. It is absolutely fantastic. Very well made uh, in America. I have really no complaints about it. It is a little heavy, but if you're looking for the best on the market, in my opinion, this is the one. And then my second favorite bench is... The AB4200. 5200, but pretty close. All right, these numbers don't make any yeah, sense, I'll, I'll get so that. I don't you feel bad. Front. Oh, she's got it. So this is another very good bench for much less. Doesn't have the decline feature, but if you're looking for just a straight up adjustable bench, this is imported, but in my opinion, a very good, well done bench. The only difference being it's not quite as crazy over the top as this, but for the average or the vast majority of the people, this is an outstanding bench if you don't want a true declinability. Yeah. So behind us, we have some other little things, more gung uh, the handles, and some of our favorite bumpers. We've done that huge bumper video. Some of our favorites are in here. Oh, some of them are in the driveway right now. So you have the Titan Urethanes, which if you're looking for a cheap urethane, that's not, not a real thing, but that's the cheapest I'd go. They're identical to Rogue's. And then American Barbells. These are commercial quality. My son's bar, which means we should probably look at all the barbells. Sounds good. We have a lot of barbells and these ones aren't our favorite and that's no slight against them. It's just our favorites are on our rack. Um, there's some great options here. It's just really hard to break that Can top couple. Can you just name a couple? Um, yeah. No. <laughs> you probably couldn't. <laughs> no, let's move on. But there are great bars from Hansu, Texas Power Bars, Bells of Steel, all over the place. Some of our specialty bars. But like she said, when we need them, we pull them out. Otherwise, they sit over here. And then more of our logical collection. <laughs> this is our Bridge Built custom bar holder. And we have our logo on it, but you can buy it yourself uh, without your logo. Does it, have like a, does it have a name? Why, why would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. But we can't forget what see i collect vintage plates these are some of my rarest i'm not as fancy as a lot of you guys with some crazy plates out there but these are my york marked and i have lots of other ones stacked over here but my idea someday is to put them up on the ceiling up on the wall over here but for now i'm gonna have to settle for my bob ross painting why is that there? That's <laughs> so ridiculous. We, you always do. This. It's always something. <laughs> Take them down um, and so cut this. This, this is, no, we're not cutting this. This is. We'll move on to the ridiculous. PR board, but that's from us doing a Bob Ross tutorial, and hers is on the left. If the terrible. baby was crying, I had, I had to go get him. No, he was, yeah. he was asleep. So our PR board is up here. It's probably a little out of date. I did update Winnie's uh, PRs from when she won the meet. And we had belt fetch strength, a company we'll talk about a few more times in a minute, make name tags, but we think it's important to have goals and keep track of them. So anytime somebody breaks a PR, it's a big thing, we write it up there and maybe we eat ice cream cake in the gym. And now more wall control. I know what you're thinking. Wow, everything's so perfectly spaced out. How? And I'll let you in on a secret. I found Adrian in here late at night, measuring the distance between these that, hooks to make sure everything looks right. That is not true. Then why is it on your Instagram so many times? Uh, they get a lot of likes. <laughs> <laughs> so with some of the highlights, we have the Rogue stainless steel lap bar. Funny enough, this is actually sometimes almost as expensive as the piece of equipment we were reviewing, but we put it on there because we have it and we have to justify it somehow. We, at one point we had almost all of their attachments, but we, they've made, come up with a, a few others like their, their triangle grips. But more importantly than that is we have some belt fed strength uh, attachments. This is their single handle cable straps, really nice. And the Gluck strap, which is technically not named it, but it really should be because I should get all the credit, but I don't want to pat my own ego. So that, honey, that's not, no, put it in the right spot. You're ridiculous. So, Everything has a place. So 
when we did the video on BeltFed, they were kind of a struggling small creator and then Rep watched it and actually liked their creation so much that they've signed on to have BeltFed make these. They call them their tricep straps and their premium lifting belt. And they have a couple other things that they do that the utility loop, but it's kind of a cool story because obviously I get all the credit for changing their lives. I'm joking, of course. They make absolutely fantastic products, but to see a small company that was kind of struggling, a small American family company, to get such a big deal like that and work with a huge company, it, it meant a lot to us. I'm, I'm sure it meant a lot to them. But other uh, cool things we've got, we have the knockoff mag grips. I love American made quality. I just talked about that small company. So unfortunately, we don't have the authentic mag grips. We have the Chinese knockoffs, but it, it's been really hard for us to justify and you can actually see it, but we have the whole set there. And then another really important piece of equipment to us is our Bells of Steel versus Hammer. Yes, and I loved this when I was pregnant because it helps relieve some of the back pain that comes with that um, for all of our pregnant viewers. <laughs> yeah, all 7% of our <laughs> female viewers. I'm sure 100% of that 7% are pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no uh, maybe, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> this is important to us because she worked on her back with it when she was pregnant. And then I had issues where I would go to play with my son and I'd get up and I'd kind of hobble forward, my back really hurt. So I got this and did a lot of reverse hypers, a lot of back extensions and other core work, and I don't have those issues. It's not 100% because of this machine. I changed my squatting form and actually learned how to squat a little bit and worked on my deadlift and did other things, but we still do all those huge heavy compound lifts. We're lifting heavier than we ever have before, and this played a big part of that. There are other machines like this, but the price to quality ratio to this, uh, to me anyway, is really good. So it's one of my favorite machines, which should move us to our next favorite machine, Reps Aries. This is a very versatile piece of equipment because you've got the built-in lat pull down, the functional trainer, the low row. So we use this in every workout lots of times, multiple times in each workout, and we're working out four times a week. It gets used a lot. And you can see this is also the point where we've gotten a little creative with some of our storage. Yeah, for example, we have these rogue shackles that are holding just one rogue no, handle. There's two handles on two shackles. <laughs> it's so overkill. These are, these are my favorite handles, the rogue single handles. They are expensive, but really well done. Yeah, we have our uh, mutant metal dip bar you or are, dip attachment. You're doing really well with names this time. Another amazing clear grind. If you're into clear grind, nobody does it like mutant metals. I know they have a rogue affiliate kind of thing where they make a version for them. But if you order directly from them, this guy is an absolute craftsman. Yeah, and then we have uh, Rogue's Black Balls. Yep, <laughs> you okay. can't see them, but those yeah. are... <laughs> <laughs> I could have said that better, you know, I guess. You can keep going, honey. All you right. just keep and going. Now, oh, now we have the dark... We have the Darko uh, shorty? Dar Darko lifting shorty bar. So, And then they're on stray dog uh, hooks that hold some of this stuff up there. We use this because we love the Aries. Doesn't mean it's perfect. The low row is a little awkwardly low, and they give you this stupid banana clip, actually. It's this thing, but when you put it together, it just smashes into your ankles. So the Darko lifting shorty bar, this is a really uh, kind of creative product. He makes a lot of cool stuff. Um, it just gives you a little more space because of the arc and you can actually hang this all over the place to put different handles, different attachments, we use it for landmine rows. This thing's super cool, but other issues we have, of course, with the Aries being besides the low row, Winnie's favorite part, Yes, this cable twists some. So we didn't originally have this issue, but as time goes on, the top one has twisted a little bit. We can get rep to send this one. They will send it. We can take it apart and fix it. The problem is this took like five hours to put together. So we deal with it because I don't want to take it apart again. Yeah. Oh, we almost forgot the most important thing. We have our flag here um, available at collection.com. <laughs> So and your, pretty. And your shirt. But anyway, and my shirt. <laughs> let's chill some more things yeah. as we move on to the center. So this is our 11 post, what I call a rep rogue Frankenstein rack. You have the Aries over here. And then the center section is all rogue. So they're cross members, they're wall storage, bar storage, all that. And these are mostly Winnie's favorite bars. So she's going to take it away and name them and go over the detailed specs that she has no idea. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
So we are starting with the, this is a Rep Colorado Cerakote bar in green. Um, it's okay knurling. I don't use it for deadlifting or squat because there's no center knurl. I just use it for bench. He's not the only one who's spoiled. It's very good knurling, but it's a multi-purpose bar. What she means is the next one. Yes, this one is an Ohio Power Bar. Nope. Ohio... Nope, but it's what made is? by Rogue. It's the Rogue Hybrid Bar. The, oh my goodness, so close. <laughs> <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> Please never do that again. So, this is what she means by okay knurling because Winnie likes aggressive knurls. This is very aggressively knurled. Yeah, listen, not all of us have traps for days that the bar can rest on when we squat. I thought you were going to say delicate hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, I'll save that for the deadlift bars because mine is the uh, Texas bar. And that's not the one in your hand. This, the Texas. I knew because this was so soft okay, and delicate. Yeah. I was like, oh, this can't be yeah, mine. Okay, go on. Um, so this is my deadlift bar that I use for Texas deadlifts. Texas deadlift bar. Um, it's great. I really like it. We've used a lot of different bars and these are my favorite. This is his deadlift bar. So this, I use the Rogue deadlift bar because one, it was only $200 off the Boneyard. So it was a heck of He's a deal. He's a budget guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very frugal. And this is, this is really aggressive for me. <laughs> All right. So your plates? Yes. Oh, we have some more uh, Pioneer belts back here, but yeah, we don't actually use them. Yeah, we so all do belt fed stuff now. This is the uh, Oak Club basketball hoop. You're going to take that from me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. The basketball hoop is awesome, but we can't get them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now gosh. you show them. Oh, you oh, kick the ball sorry. away. Right. You, know, fine, you can't fine. miss it. Okay. <laughs> they, we can't convince them to sell it, but we're trying to because everybody needs these. They're very necessary in a home gym. Uh -huh. All right. So these are my plates. We I use the strength co plates. Um, we actually don't have enough for the full set. So like we need more fives and things like that. So Grant. If you want to send us some more, we'll be more than happy <laughs> to accept them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we, uh, with the not strength co plates, we have uh, plate snacks on them to, you know, they're not our top pick. They're but just kind we of like... cheap Chinese plates that we bought during COVID when you couldn't get anything, but yeah. we dialed them up with those plate snacks. These are like three years old, and these decals the snacks, are still yeah. yes, <laughs> and the decals are still holding up really well. Yeah, but I really like Strength Co. They're not deep dish, but they're deep enough that it's easy to get them on and off. Um, they're my top pick, obviously. Uh, then we have more wall control, and these is probably the most used wall control we have. We have my gorgeous belt-fed belt. This is the first thing we got from them. So it's custom made. It took, I don't know how long it took, God but it knows. probably took them months to figure out what the heck <clears throat> I was asking for because I didn't, I was like, she really likes animals, guys. <laughs> good luck. He got it. This Make is it look good. And they did a phenomenal job hand carving and hand painting that. Lots of collars and an absurd amount of pins. And if you're a true OG Glock oh Gym gosh. fan, this is our first ever giveaway. We used to 3D print these, but my printer's broken. Yeah, and oh, we have our slingshots. And lots of stuff uh, in here. Really a normal amount of chalk. A lifetime supply of chalk. <laughs> Bring us to our six post. So let's start this one off by you taking the all-rounder out of the rack. All right. <laughs> While she's doing that, I will say we've gotten a little creative with barbell storage. <laughs> Normally it's not that big of an ordeal. She's just worried about hitting the mirror behind here. But we have the Darko lifting storage because I don't like to get rid of things. We've got in different places to hold various bars. Yeah. So this is the Gungnir all-rounder bar. And this is what I used to overhead press with. It's my favorite bar to overhead press with because I'm not moving a lot of weight. So having the clip is actually a percentage of what I'm lifting. So the built-in clip is great. Go ahead and put that back in there. Yeah, yeah. He so, normally takes these out and puts it away. This is currently our oldest rack in here. We started building this a long time ago. If you go to the last gym tour, it was just over here before this was this huge thing. But it's a six post rep PR 5000. It's Winnie's rack. So even though I picked the color, even though it's not gray, we'll let her kind of talk about what do you like about this rack? Yeah, so I really like the rack. One of my favorite things is how long it is. Um, we have the space. I know some people don't, but it helps me feel secure when we're doing like bench and, or sorry, squat and things like that. So I really enjoy how long it is. Um, also, we have, stop, <laughs> stop. What she means is my rack is only 30 inches deep. So I could actually still, I don't park the car in here, but I can <laughs> park the car in the garage. Go ahead. Go ahead. Again, um, I really like these Ghost Strong uh, J cups because they protect our rack a bit. Because when we're working out with people, I'm always the shortest one. So when they go to rack the bar, they'll hit the J cup before they hit our rack. 
That's why the scuffs are all the way up here. And then we've got our second mass tsunami drink spotter, the magnetized one. Love these guys, great podcast, but it holds our basketball. Lots of, you'll see, these are the Bells of Steel collars. Of our collars we use, and we have a logical amount of collars, uh, the best are Rogue's USA Aluminums. They have the best holding power, really great on deadlift, but these are pretty cool because they magnetize. Those are from Bells of Steel. Oh, wait, I don't want to forget my least favorite part of the rack, and that's this tarp of a banner to cover my mirror. <laughs> that, so I got this because I film, and this is our backdrop for filming a lot of time, mm -hmm. and otherwise you're just looking at my butt in the mirror, and nobody complains, but it is a little better to have that yeah, <laughs> yeah. covering it. And then we have the dialed motion trolley and um, sidewinder cable systems. So this is this rack actually has a functional trainer on it, being this system made by dialed motion. Now there's a bunch of stuff on the rack. One of the cons to this is you do have to clear it upright, but if you have that, and I have it bolted, oops, I have it bolted in right now, but let's pretend there's not a bunch of stuff in the way. If I loaded this up with plates, these are easily removable, right? Then I have a functional trainer, and it's the same thing on this side, except with the sidewinder arm, once I was done with it. So the sidewinder is, imagine a functional trainer, but it only takes up kind of one post. But if you take that arm off and flip it 90 degrees, I now have a lat pull down on my Rep PR5000. Rep obviously has their own systems like the Aries or the Athena, but if you don't want to clutter up your backside and you like it a little more free back there, you can do this, which is nice because Winnie and I can get in and out and you're not doing that weird, awkward barbell limbo back here. And of course we have more wall control. We probably have more of everything. Maybe wall control should be sponsoring these videos, but comment your favorite part of the gym and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>